medical facts um at least um our medical apartheid and this one is uh from the cdc and it's uh and that's the consensus for disease and control on being black in america numerous sources including the federal government centers for disease control reported that in the 1980s that being black in america is hazardous to one's health being black in America means higher mortality rates, lower levels of education, lower levels of occupational status, lower income, lower levels of wealth, lower levels of health, poor housing, fewer two-parent households, higher unemployment, greater contact with the criminal justice system, and higher levels of marital disruption than the white population. I wonder how much is this by design. Y'all want to take a stab at that? Because, you know, it's really easy for, again, the dominant society to skew all these facts to make the victim the perpetrator and the perpetrator the victim. It's their way of gaslighting, projecting, deflating. This is the law of the land in America. The report suggested that social economic conditions among blacks to a large degree stem directly from the struggle economic and social inequality produced by centuries of slavery, Jimism, and benign, benign neglect. Since black man is the primary target of racism, it is the report explained in large measure why black men are disproportionately burdened with health problems and one of the shortest life expectancy of any race and any gender. Y'all sit on that for a while. And we'll come back. 